All right. So uh, the old curiosity bugs got the better of me. Let's make a video on uh, what's inside one of these. This is a 36 volt, 3 amp hour Z2 outdoor power equipment battery pack. It came with my uh, blower and uh, whipper snipper, line trimmer, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, like I say, 3 amp hour, 36 volt. Do a nice little indicator on it. And uh, it should be stacked full of 18650s. So, uh, as you can see, it runs these tri shaped screws. It's alright, in my set, I've got one of them. Ratcheting drive is always on the wrong direction. Whatever's idea these screws were. I hope he didn't survive. <laughs> Terrible. You think a Phillips wants to skip out? Is it even worse? Oh, by the way, this battery is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. We just opened it up to have a peek inside to see how it's configured. Beautiful cell spacing. There's plenty of uh, space for airflow down the body of it there. I'm not sure if you can see in that. I think you should be able to. Alright, let's take both ends off. After all the batteries that I've pulled apart and put back together, I think we should be able to uh, put them back together when we're done. Alright, very simple circuit board. We have a 60 amp fuse up here. That's quite substantial. Soldered across the board. Got a little extension on our micro switch here. Got three connections. We've got a positive, a negative, and a charged one by the looks of things. Do we have balance leads? No. This is completely unbalanced. That's interesting. So, uh, let's get the multimeter and test the actual voltage of this. Um, you're probably going to be fine with dry hands with a 36 volt, but I reckon it's going to be a lot higher than 36 charged. Right then, let's see what the multimeter has to say. What's your guess? I knew it was going to be heaps more than 36. 36 is a nominal. 41 and a half charged. So 
So that's basically as much as I can pull apart and play with. Keep in mind, you probably are going to fill 41 volts um, if you touch the two contacts where they live in their case. They're quite safe and well spread apart. But uh, there's always a possibility you could touch the two. But yeah, well made pack, well put together, but no balancing. Not sure why. Probably remarkably cheaper to build one without balancing, I suppose. And uh, they're only probably building it to, uh, to see what kind of lifespan they uh, can get out of them. At this stage, I'm not going to pull it apart completely. Um, if it fails within warranty period, it's still going to go back and get returned. Um, but while I'm at the uh, place of purchase, I reckon I'll be uh, hitting them up and seeing where these normally go when they take warranty returns. Because I'm tipping they probably go straight in the bin. That's no good. Or we'll just chuck something like this in the bin. Right, so, well, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, Give me a chance to get some of this dirt out of here. If you uh, haven't seen my uh, actual usage video of the brush cutter, um, basically I was tipping the brush cutter upside down to uh, bring some of the line out of the self feeding thing. But yeah, that's a wrap. I'm going to put it back together. To all the subscribers, thank you. To all the people that watch videos, which is 96% uh, of people who aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. You never know what will come up that you might like. Um, you can subscribe to playlists, so if there's something specific you do like, you'll see more of that. But yeah, thanks for your support, guys. Thanks for watching. This is a uh, Ozito ACCLB. 13.6 36 volt 3 amp lithium ion battery for our dual power tools full of 18650s just like we thought thanks for watching